The city of Austin has its first Narcan vending machine. It's right outside of Sunrise Community Church and the Sunrise Homeless Navigation Center in South Austin. Now, this is one of the top stories trending right now on KXAN.com. That vending machine provides 24-7 access to the life-saving treatment that can quickly reverse an opioid overdose. It's in partnership with the NICE Project, which stands for Narcan in case of emergency. I think there's still stigma and I think there's still fear. You know, a lot of people push back on it saying it will, you know, giving out Narcan will attract drug users or will be unsafe or uh, people will try to resell it, um, all those sorts of things. But um, I think that the reality is that there's there's a much broader understanding now than there was even two years ago about the usefulness of Narcan. And for months, the state program that provided naloxone, also known by the brand name Narcan, had issues getting it out because of high demand and low supply. Gangsan investigator Arzo Dose has been tracking this story. I sat down with her about the possibility of expanding those efforts to get more out of it to those who need it most. Will these vending machines go anywhere else? The location of the vending machine is at the Sunrise Homeless Navigation Center in South Austin. The folks there say, look, we want to see how it works out here, but certainly we are looking at other locations. We know that there's such a big push for more funding to provide Narcan to agencies across the state. Is more funding in the pipeline? Jen, look, just a few months ago, organizations in the state were having a hard time getting Narcan. There is a state-funded program car called More Narcan, Please, which provides Narcan to anyone who requests it. Well, because of high demand and low supply, people weren't able to get any. So the state was able to get a little bit more funding to be able to provide more Narcan through this program through the end of this month. But come September 1st, that's when the state's fiscal year begins, the state will provide more than five and a half million dollars to go towards the distribution of Narcan across Texas. Is there a concern that we could run out of Narcan? If you talk to harm reduction organizations, they will tell you absolutely they're concerned about the state running out again because a few months ago, the state ran out. They never thought this would happen in the state of Texas uh, because this life-saving treatment is so critical, especially as our numbers dealing with opioid overdoses involving fentanyl are on the rise. Uh, but with that, the more Narcan Please program has put some limitations in place. So for instance, in the past, you could order as many as you wanted and get as many as you wanted for free. Well, now the limitations will include about 48 units, which is two nasal spray units doses per box. So they're hoping that that can impact access and supply. And our KXA Investigates team has been looking into the rise of fentanyl overdose cases around Central Texas for quite some time now. If you like information on that as well as some resources, just head over to our webpage, kxan.com investigations.